part two of perfumes worn by the Romanovs, and today we're going to talk about the perfumes worn by the four grand duchesses, Olga, Tatiana, Marie, and Anastasia. And if you missed part one, go watch that first, but here's a little refresher. Lily Den was the wife of a Russian naval officer and became friends with the Russian royal family, particularly Tsarina Alexandra. She escaped Russia during the revolution and wrote a biography of her friend called The Real Tsaritsa. And here's what she wrote about the four grand duchesses, and please forgive my French mispronunciations because I'm really bad at it. A large room divided by a curtain served as dressing room and bathroom for the grand duchesses. One half of the room was full of cupboards, and in the other half stood the large bath of solid silver. The grand duchesses had departed from their mother's simple ideas, and when they bathed at night, the water was perfumed and softened with almond bran. Like their mother, they were addicted to perfumes and always used those of Coty. Tatiana favored jasmine de course, Olga the rose. Marie constantly changed her perfumes, but was more or less faithful to Lilas, and Anastasi never deviated from Violette. Okay, so Coty was a French perfumer that partnered with Baccarat and Lalique for the exquisite crystal bottles that were associated with both brands. Let's get into the perfumes though, and from what I can gather, they were all single note scents. So the notes correspond to the names. Okay, starting with the eldest, Olga. Her perfume is the one right here with a little bit of amber liquid left at the bottom. It was called the Rose, and it was really popular. It's the perfume that put Cody on the map. Next, we've got Tatiana, who wore jasmine decor, and it's this mostly full bottle right here. Next, we've got Marie. She probably used all of these, but her particular favorite was called Lila, also known as Lilac, and it's this little bottle right here. Last and most asked for, Anastasia. She loved La Violette. It is right here. And just a reminder, these are all their real perfume bottles. Regardless of how we feel about monarchies in general, or particularly about the Russian aggression toward Ukraine right now, which is abhorrent, these were teenagers and young adults who were murdered. I think it's very bittersweet to see their perfume bottles and to know that like many little girls, they also loved a floral scent. My collection, the Rose Aficionados, you would love either Antoinette or Lenore. For the Jasmine lovers, Georgiana, Kailani, Jane Eyre, or Antoinette again, it has a lot of Jasmine. I don't have any perfumes with lilac, but Lady Day would suit. And for those who like Violet, like Anastasia, we've got Bolin and Zelda. I hope you enjoyed this short series on the Romanovs. Find the rest of my historical perfume videos on my page.